Hello, good morning, good morning everyone. So, Assalamualaikum and very good morning. So, today we will continue our class with um, our 2.2 uh, Gases Exchange in Human Body. So, before that, so I will ask you to, uh, for my student to enter the GC after this. Uh, to complete the assignment that uh, for attendance and assignment I will give uh, assignment after this. So without wasting any time, we will start the 2.2 with uh, the presentation. Okay, so we see 2.2 uh, actually is about gases exchange in human body. So the, the gas that involved in uh, exchange is oxygen gases and also uh, carbon dioxide. So let's see the oxygen first. So the oxygen is uh, the gas that diffuses into the blood capillaries to be transported to all the body cells due to the high concentration of oxygen uh, in the al alveoli and low concentration of oxygen in the bloodstream. So in the blood, actually oxygen will combine with hemoglobin, uh, hemoglobin in the red blood cell to form oxyhemoglobin to be transported to the body cells. So this is a diagram that you can see uh, about the blood contain of low concentration of oxygen and high concentration of carbon dioxide. Uh, the bloodstream that surround the alveolus. So the diffusion of oxygen happen here and also the diffusion uh, out from, from the bloodstream is carbon dioxide. So the exchange uh, happen uh, very, very high blood contain high concentration of oxygen and low concentration of carbon dioxide. Okay, so the gases exchange across the alveolus and blood capillary in the lung. So uh, the blood, what we call the blood is a, uh, the main transport to transport all the gases. But in this situation, you need to understand about the two places, uh, two different places. Number one is in lung and in other hand, in, we have uh, other places that will exchange the gas uh, in the cell, near the cell. Eh? So let's see the, the lung first. Okay, so when we inhale air, so the oxygen, we, we will inhale all the air inside and the oxygen will, will diffuse. So the blood, leaving the blood capillaries, have a higher pa partial pressure of oxygen and lower partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Okay, so uh, the blood from the our heart will enter the blood capillary with high partial pressure of carbon dioxide. We have a very, very high concentration of carbon dioxide and lower, uh, lower concentration of oxygen. So, when the carbon dioxide is very high concentration, so the carbon dioxide will diffuse out from the blood plasma into the alveolus. While oxygen that we inhale earlier, so will diffuse from the alveolus into the bloodstream with, and combine with the hemoglobin in the red blood cell to form oxyhemoglobin. And then after that, so the blood will leave the blood uh, after the combination of oxyhemoglobin. So it will be transported from our lung to our heart and then will be uh, sent to the whole body. Okay, so this is a mm, sim more simple diagram that you can see here. This is uh, on the top of the... Uh, 
diagram is the alveolus that exchange the carbon dioxide out and take the oxygen and will be transferred using the arteries okay to the whole body and base being exchanged with uh, to another places called we call the, uh, tissue cells so here uh, the the oxygen will diffuse into the cell and the carbon dioxide will be transferred to uh, to our bloodstream and then being sent back using the vein into our lungs and being transported out the carbon dioxide so co2 represent uh, carbon dioxide and o2 this one represent uh, oxygen okay so transport of oxygen take place through uh, diffusion and oxygen breathe into the lung is initial dissolve into the moist layer of the alveoli and then diffuse into the blood capillaries so the the characteristic of uh, alveolus is a moist layer okay so to, to make sure the process of diffusion take uh, place very efficiently so the layer of the alveolus must be moist and also very thin as uh, as thin as a uh, one 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 cell the, the thickness of the cell is very very thin so the oxygen combined with the hemoglobin in the red blood cell form oxyhemoglobin so oxygenated uh, blood is then sent to all part of the body through the circulation system in our blood so later we will learn about the uh, transport system in our 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 body in maybe in the yeah not maybe lah surely we will learn in chapter three okay so when the blood uh, reaches the target tissue the oxygen released from the red blood cell diffuse into the tissue cells because it's it is low oxygen concentration so the deoxygenated blood flow back to the heart and is then pumped into the lung to be oxygenated again so this is process always uh, circle back to the the lung okay so this one is uh, also diagram to show you the the process of uh, exchange of gas so uh, we need to understand about the adaptation of alveoli for efficient uh, gas exchange so there is a adaptation of the alveolus to make sure the uh, gas exchange happen very efficiently smooth without any problem so number one is the large surface area of alveolus there is a lot of a uh, small sac of air called uh, alveolus and it will create a large surface area okay number two is very thin wall hey, i mentioned earlier the the layer i'm uh, sorry the wall of alveolus is very thin uh, what we call what the size is one cell thickness and number three the moist inner surface uh, to make sure before the gas exchange so it will moist and will dissolve in in the moist surface and number four surrounded by the network blood of capillaries so we can see every alveolus the small alveolus will have the uh, what we call blood capillaries eh? so that is an addition that you need to know and to under uh, to understand about the gas exchange in our our uh, lungs okay So I mentioned earlier, so this is also the um, uh, in the form of the uh, maps, uh, I think maps. So to show that uh, we have a million of alveoli to provide a very large surface. And number two, a layer of moist uh, inner surface of alveolus, a network capillary surround the outer surface of alveoli 
and also thin epithelium that is one cell thick okay to allow rapid diffusion of gases and to and from the alveol alveoli okay so that's all for 2.2 if you have any question or if you have any comment so please uh, uh, leave to the comment section and for for my student in SMK Kepang Baru so after this you can go to DC and complete your uh, attendance and also the assignment so thank you very much for your time and I hope you understand and get any information about uh, this video and let me know if you have any uh, suggestion so you can also uh, suggest on the comment uh, below so thank you very much and see you again. Bye-bye.